What's up, YouTube? We're back at it once again here. We're 360s. Yeah, not not that bad. We're at 7.3 right now. And we're chilling with this minor 2.5 average blister cost deck. 2.5. It's like almost CDWA challenge worthy. <laughs> minor wall breaker, quick cycle. Uh, what an amazing deck. It's literally... You just... Uh, it's just so fast. It's hard to explain, but... Uh, you know, you got the bait element with the quick cycle. You got poison, a log, standard spells, very solid spells to synergize with the minor wall breaker combo. Ice golem in for the defense and hunter, one of the most versatile defensive cards. You can use it for ground, you can use it for air, you can use it for range attacks, you can use it for uh, you know high damage attacks, obviously with the shotgun. But you know, just very all around solid card used for basically everything. That's like your main defensive card in the deck. Anyways, that's enough talking. Let's hop into the games and get ready for some speedy, juicy gameplay, boys. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hopping into the first game, going against Q8 Adnan. All right, let's go ahead and start with the wall breaker split. You got to defend both sides. If not, you're going to be taking like 300 damage both sides right now. So he defends one, but not the other. We're going to go with the hunter in the back and then we're going to pressure doing the hunter first so that we can uh, press so that we can uh, cycle back to the hunter later. Now we pressure wall breakers. And now a solid poison should be able to clean up absolutely everything. And we're gonna be up in damage. Probably not up in elixir, but so, yeah, we're chilling, boys. We are absolutely chilling. Up about what? Uh, 500 HP. That's solid. So we're gonna be expecting another lava hound in the back soon. We're gonna do the same thing a hunter in the back first, and then we can pressure with the wall breakers opposite lane right away. Lava Miner can be difficult for the deck, but if we played the best of our ability, we should be able to get a dub right now. Let's go with the Ice Golem. For trying to protect there, it actually doesn't work out. That's unfortunate. Oh, it maybe does. <laughs> Snowball's gonna push it back. And I'm gonna Hunter once again here. Onto the Baby Dragon, smack that down. He got a lot of damage there. That's unlucky. Well played to him. We're going to go for a minor wall breaker. We do have to pressure here because we don't have a hunter in cycle for this next lava hunt. And this is where he's probably going to be in a, in a good spot. We do got a lot of damage there. Pressuring right at the moment in which he goes with lava hunt in the back. We do lose the tower, but we should be able to tower trade here. Never mind. I'm scared. <laughs> Mine does get solid ship. We're gonna have to poison that and log here. All right, not bad. <clears throat> this is going to be difficult, but I think we got it. Let's just cycle our skeletons. Proceed with a hunter in the back. And follow the formula. Go hunter in back, now we can pressure. Mega Man actually goes in front, which is really nice. Hunter is a little bit too close here. Baby Dragon is splashing, which is really unlucky, actually. Minor Wall Breakers did connect on the left side, though. Can we get these Wall Breakers connect? Snowball comes in. Poison. We're going for the finisher here, boys. Let's go out playing the Lava Hound deck. Only have Hunter. You can snowball the bats. 
and it's just a quick cycle getting multiple hunters down the defense using the poison defensively and offensively pressuring at the correct times and that's gonna be solid dub with the quick cycle minor wall breakers let's uh 314 well not bad i'm hopping in the second game straight away for you guys not wasting any of your time hopefully we can find a match soon and i'm gonna go ahead and cut see you guys once we're in the match hopping into the second game going against you ryuga he's going goblin gang at the bridge right away yeah could have hit the tower as well but i wasn't paying full attention there at the start let's go and poison the flying machine all right skeletons keep it in the range but we are gonna go with the ice golem here oh this is interesting basically the same thing as the lava hound matchup we're gonna go hunter in the back and then proceed to pressure ops lane with the wall breakers and we'll see what he has to say about that he's got bats it looks like we're going against like lava clone or something boys oh this is easy defense though so you have the skeletons you got the poison you log back the uh, golem away from your tower yet also damage the night witch allowing the poison to take it out and we take very minimal damage see what his response is to the hunter probably will get one or two shots off which can be a lot of damage actually okay looks like he's got uh one of these uh what is it called <laughs> it's a uh shoot skeleton uh, skeleton barrel no yeah skeleton barrel so it means we are gonna be going against lava clone here or sorry golem clone man i'm struggling okay but we're chilling we have the quick cycle poison as long as uh as long as we can uh, not get caught off guard by the clone we got this some good damage on the left from the wall breakers of course let's see what his play is very solid did we retarget it no oh yes we did yes we did we retargeted very solid let's go and log here keeping the golem away not letting the death damage attack the tower now we pressure. Go with another poison. Cycled back. Another log as well. The hunter's still alive. Look how much value that hunter has gotten us this game. Crazy. Free ice golem. And we're back to poison once again for this flying machine and other things. Oh, bad wall breakers. That was my bad. It is in the poison. We should be chilling. Let's go and log here. Let's see what his play is. Wow. Alright. He's going aggressive. Fire machine does get taken out. I think I am going to have to use a hunter here and a log, especially for that clone stuff. Honestly, really well played. The cloned uh, pups actually put in, or sorry, not pups. <sighs> okay, we're going to pressure here. Honestly, we're going to poison here as well. We're going all in. We have to finish this game before he finishes us. Pre log for the game. That's going to be GG's. Another solid game. Sorry, uh, my commentary is not at 100%. It's really hard. You have to concentrate on each and every play with this quick cycle deck. And you have to make a lot of plays since you're playing like a card a second. Especially in overtime. Um, double elixir range. But um, yeah, another solid dub. Once again, just the hunter in the back first. Ensuring that you can cycle back to a second hunter if need be. Then pressuring opposite lane. Going with the poisons... I think on one of the defenses there, we poisoned three times um, during the push. But yeah, very solid game. I'm going to hop into the third and final game of the video here. And uh, well, yeah, I guess we'll see what's up. All right, hopping in to the third and final game. Going against Goku. Oh my gosh, I have no chance. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, let's start with an aggressive start here. Minor wall breakers right off the bat. What does he got to do about What does he got to say about that? Okay, very, very solid defense. Ice Fear plus uh yeah that was good that was good
but we cycle back to the wall breaker combo he doesn't have the snowball and cycle but he has this very similar defense once again so good stuff good stuff barely getting the ice golem down time honestly <laughs> that was sketchy let's go and uh make use of this ice golem though pressure a little bit snowball does come down as well as some balance well played so going up against a hog area deck this is actually one of the harder matchups him having the mini pekka for my miner the snowball for the wall breakers as well as the bats ice golem also counters the bats when he's going on offense and it's pretty uh, difficult to actually defend the hog guy without taking a hit with the hunter. Really good, nice mini pekka by him. We're gonna go with some bats here. Wow, I can't believe we did hunter and log and it still gets a hit off. That's really tough. It's unlucky, boys. <clears throat> I think I just had to play my hunter a little bit quicker, basically. But uh, I was too distracted by his mini P.E.K.K.A. So that was really well played uh, and just in general by him. We can go bats here once again. Nice snowball. Now we have the ice golem though. We take one musky here. I'm okay with that. We're going to get a nice poison here. Let's go with this here. Wow. Okay. That's not that bad. We're chilling. Well, Breaker's not putting in the work that we need them to. No snowball and cycle. I'm basically just going to spam all this stuff and hopefully some wall breakers can connect or something. Nothing. Hunter, putting in the work though. But yeah, the hog free snow basically just destroys all of our hopes and dreams. Wow. GG's. Anyways, boys, that's gonna. Anyways, boys, that's gonna be it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed. I think it's okay to share losses on the channel. Um, the hog iron matchup was really difficult. We did do our best. Uh, the only thing that I probably could have done differently is had better reaction time with the hunters. Um, it's really it's really hard deck to play both sides with um, with the quick cycle. You have to make a lot of quick um, decisions, um, yet also precise at the same time. It is uh, it is a lot of fun if you guys do like quick cycle decks. Go ahead and try it out for yourselves and comment down below if you think you should i could have done anything differently in that match as well anyways boys that's gonna be it for the video i really hope you enjoyed stay juicy peace out